Welcome guys to this episode of Poolishness. We'll be going over some scenarios where your pool pump will not prime and how to fix them. Pool vac is left outside the pool and it's still plugged into the, the wall. You'll get air in the system and the pump won't be able to start up. Next, if the pool vac is taken out in this flap here, this flap here closes it will cut off circulation and the pool pump will run dry if you see the hose is floating on top of the water the hose has air in it and you have to go infection pull apart and let the air out so if the water level is not in between the tile line and the water is too low and the water is still empty this has to be filled up at all the time else the pump will run dry also there's a weird gate if that was stuck the pool will run dry if this weird gate is stuck uh, closed it should be floating freely also, if there's a, any obstruction in the basket, a bag, or anything in the basket, it will cause the, the pump not to prime up or to lose prime. Okay, let's go over to the pool equipment and check out the pool pump. Okay, guys, we're going to do the easy stuff first. We're going to check to see if the pump lid is tight. This is a sealed unit that pumps water and not air. So if there's any, if the lid is not tight, it will suck air. And next, we want to make sure the lid O-ring is there. Sometimes we empty out the basket, the O-ring falls out on the ground, and now the pump is not priming. Those are all easy, um, easy fix. Next, we want to check there's if there's any debris around the lid where the O-ring seats. You want to get all uh, brush any leaves away clean it up and uh, also we want to check out the basket if there's anything clogged in the basket sometimes bags get through to the basket sometimes those the holes are plugged up with hair you want to inspect the o-ring um, you need a new o-ring here's a num part number for the o-ring we're going to go ahead and we're going to loop up the o-ring and we're going to put lube around top of the o-ring seat we're going to inspect the lid for any cracks. We'll hold the lid up to the light so we can see through if there's any cracks around the middle, around the, where the O-ring sits. Be very thorough. Check everything out. If there's any cracks, it will suck air and the pump will have a tough time priming up. We'll go ahead and put the pump lid back on and then you start the pump up and see if it primes up. Next. If the pump still doesn't prime up, you can turn the valve. You can move the valve, flip on the pump, and see if it primes up in different positions. So you move it to different positions and you cut off the skimmer. See if a pool start primes up. You can switch it to, if it still doesn't prime up, switch it to pull back. And if it still doesn't prime up, then you want to take this apart to check the o -ring. So if it does start up, when you change position, you know. An obstruction, obstruction in the line that did not start up. And we'll go over that in another video if you have an obstruction or blockage. Or you have a bad O-ring or if water squirts out uh, when it shuts off. Here you gotta reach, so you check it out.
suck air through the, the shaft here causing the pump not to climb and it can suck air through the lid o-ring on your your diverter valve Put your lube on there. Push it all the way. Put some lube on the diverter. Okay, it says it says inlet there. Inlet matches up with the pump pipe coming into the pump. So you match that up. Actually, let's put a little lube on this bottom shaft. Make sure there's no debris in here. Put it back together. setting on your drill you want to turn it down to a low setting because if you get it too tight you'll split in here you split your little screw holes here you cross pattern goes on and has a small slot sticking up here it matches up with a small slot on the shaft and that tells you they give you a direction so now this should be able to prime up so that's another step you take you can start the water up It should catch prime. You can 
see the water going into the pump. Should fill all the way up to the top of the lid. Okay. So that uh, some of the steps, if you can have a loose joint here, you want to get a. Uh, this is a screw in front of your pump. You can try tightening it first. If you hear or see any water shooting out or um, you could take it loose there's an o-ring you can replace the o-ring and tighten it back up that's another step if you don't have a you if you do not have a union how you test it is you put tape around like this and this is how you test the fitting you tape it and if it primes up, you know that you're going to have to replace this fitting. So if it starts up, you just cut it off and I go through a video on that. But There's two drain plugs. One on the pump pot. And one on the glute housing. have an o-ring ring goes bad it starts cracking and water starts seeping out of the, the pump pot and your pump will not prime up so you want to replace these go here and the next one And these are the drain plugs. Okay, so this thing is sitting here running dry. Which is bad. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got here. This thing up. First, check the water level. basket is bad and the water level is low so let's first let's get some water in here and see what it's doing with water and put I'm gonna use this basket because this is all we got I'm just gonna put some water in here and see what it does on pot with water let's see if we can Determine what the problem is here. Anytime a pump runs a long time without water, so we got so right away. <clears throat> so we're looking at the back of the pump, water is coming out the back. Right, so we're already, once the water starts coming out the back of the motor, we know that we we know we have a seal problem. Now we're gonna have to take apart the pump, so let's get started. I have all it's a PS201 seal. We have a 916 with a, my little battery ratchet. Let's go. So 
bracket. Stick that up there. Okay, so look, see, we see what happened now. So we have turned to major, so we, we opened it up. And I'm not sure what caused this. Yeah, but we have a broken impeller that did not let this start up. So at this time, because the homeowner has home warranty, I don't have to call the homeowner, let them know we got a broken impeller, and uh, see if they want their home warranty to get involved. Because now we're this impeller, now we're talking about a few hundred, a few hundred dollars to repair this. Uh, so I'm gonna call them, probably bolt everything back up. And uh, that way the home warranty can come out here and do their thing. good to have it for these type of events your pump go out but they're real sticklers Please check out our video on replacing a broken impeller. We try to put as many scenarios, common scenarios, of what to do if the pool pump is not priming. There's a couple uh, videos that we have left on what to do if the line is clogged up. And those will be coming out soon. So thank you for watching this video. It's good to ask if they have home warranty first, but if this was just been a pump gasket or a pump seal, I would have went, I would have replaced the pump seal, but now we got an impeller. It's gonna cost a lot more, more than it costs home warranty copay or deductible. Let's put this puppy back together. We never been here. Home warranty can work it out, but you guys got to see what was going on for a diagnosis. And then we're gonna take off. We're gonna hit the breaker here. Thank you for watching.